happy Saturday. Welcome to another video. If you're new, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, smash that bell for notifications. Do you have anything to say? What's going on out there in um, the internet world? Once again, we back at you, 392, coming at y'all. That's the channel. What up, peeps? Miss yes, here's just a you know, vlog today. I was going to say, Mrs. Pompey. Mrs. Pompey. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so funny? Because like talking about grandma like being like young, like what do you call? Him? Call him. Have him call you. I said I don't say nothing. They call me Mrs. Pompey if they want. I don't know. I don't know. But little Romero calls me Mimi. That's French for grandma. Which I like that one. Because at first you try to call me Yeah. Because first Romero, his daddy, was trying to say, call her me mom. Like, no, we're not gonna do that. And I also say glamour, because you know, glamorous grandma. Say, so yeah, random, random fact, FYI. Um, it's Saturday, I am driving. We're headed to my favorite place. One of my favorite places, I can't say it. Well, yeah, that's one of my favorite places. We're heading to the bins to go with the rifting. How do you feel about that? Oh, uh, well, I feel about it. Yeah. Well, being that the sun's coming out, nice day. The road drying up. I wouldn't mind jumping in the sky myself. Which, we need to take that off the insurance. That was a whole other thing. Put it in storage. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're headed to the bins to go shopping, but before we make this this long, how long is it, like an hour drive? Something like that. Like an hour, so it's not that bad, an hour, hour and a half drive. We stop and get snacks. So we gotta show you guys when we're talking. I was like, we gotta vlog this because I didn't vlog last week because nothing really exciting happened. We had, um, all the grandbabies and like you took the oldest ones to the movies. Yeah, we went and checked out on uh, Adam's family too. It was definitely a kids movie, but I didn't find find it to be a uh, too good of a movie. Really? I didn't like it. I would have fell asleep. Of course, I, I guess you need to see Adam's family one before seeing two. They wanted to do it. Were they? They were good though, weren't they? Oh, it felt good. One was so good to the point he went to sleep. Cool. So that lets you know it wasn't all that great. Wyatt? Yeah, Wyatt was out. He's a little teddy bear. Dish a baby. I had, um, while well, he had everybody, Romero and Sophia, I had little Riley. So we had our own movie night and we watched Princess and the Frog and we have popcorn and apple and apple. Like I got an apple and she wanted it, but she just kept on taking off, like biting off the skin and putting it like on the thing. And then she was putting like, oh, we fixed it. Got, got a lot of bumps going on. Sorry, technical difficulties. Um, then I saw her like having the, and she was putting like skin, apple, apple skin in my purse. And I was like, kids are so crazy. Like, it's like, don't put that in there. She just put it in my purse. She like was like and put it in there. But we had a good time with the babies. Our little babies. So, um oh yeah, about the snacks. <laughs> See we get talking. So we had to stop before we go on our trip and we get snacks. So you wanna show them? Because I know when um you know we're foodies and we like to eat and do all this stuff. This little snack pack. This little snack pack. ASMR, do the little crunch. <laughs> Sophie likes ASMR, like little making the noises, like oh, lava. Man, I can't stand it. I can't stand it either. Like she'll sit there and watch it and you hear her smack and I'm like, Sophie, if you don't stop, I can't take it. But she likes watching that stuff. I don't it's weird. But do a little ASMR for those who like it. I'm not gonna smack for y'all. But you hear the crunch. Some people are like crunch. Hey, you don't hear the crunch. Oh you know. <laughs> He's eating chips. Mm. You know, right now, I'm gonna do this. Cause sometimes when I'm watching videos and I see somebody eating something, I'm like, man, I bet that's pretty good. Does it make it look good? Now, considering what time of day you're watching this, you may have just got an eating dinner. <laughs> Just got some McDonald's. Food. Don't want nothing else to eat. Don't want nothing. Want for rolls? 
<laughs> you really, I almost feel like I want to chip him. <laughs> you see that chip in your like right now? That would be a good chip to have. It, it, it probably would be. And I'm gonna find out if it would be. <laughs> Do a little dance, like a little happy dance. Hey, oh, y'all better go get your bag of ruffles and, and get this guy cheddar and sour cream. This road is so we're on the toll road yeah, yeah, and it is raggedy. Like, I'm sorry for the the weird bounce. Okay, that's straight. So you know you have to have salty, and then I like sweet. Like salty stuff is not my jam, but sweet stuff is. And I blame it all on my uncle when I was little. He'd always like bring me candy. So I blame my sweet taste on my uncle. But so salty, Dale's a salty person, aren't you? You prefer salty, and I prefer sweet. So I got some peanut butter M&Ms, which we're just talking like the, these ones are my favorite kind. Like the peanut M&Ms. Them bumps are tearing up stuff here. Oh, People. man. Look at this. Would you look at this? Wow. That is a... Look at there. I just have to hold it. Should we just have to just shut it? Nope. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to get it mounted again. I don't know. For some reason, like, this road is so raggedy. It's ratchet. But, um, so I like the peanut butter. My favorite is the peanut butter m and uh, the peanut M&M's are number two, and the original M&M's are number three. I don't know that white chocolate. I don't know if I had that one. Like the mint. I don't know the other stuff. This is just what I prefer is the peanut butter M&M's. And these are so delicious. Like I haven't had one of these for a So. It does. What's your favorite candy bar? Candy bar? Or like, yeah. I'm enjoying. All my drawers are very good. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying. What's that other? Oh, it's a mound, isn't it? Like the mounds. dark chocolate. Yeah. It's like, I'm enjoying. It's got nuts. Mounds don't. Why? Because sometimes you feel like a nut. <laughs> sometimes you don't. <laughs> See, now I went way back. That's we went way oh, back with that one. You don't even. You don't even get a good commercial in today's time anymore. That used to be one of the good commercials. That's true. Now the commercials. What are the commercials? We we have Netflix. We don't even watch. Yeah, we don't even watch TV. We like used that. to have Dish Network, but then we got the fiber optic cable, or internet, or whatever. So we just have Netflix, Hulu. Sophie bought a prescription of Disney Plus. That's on her own dime. And did she? Yeah, she did. It's like eight dollars a month. Oh. I know. I was like, girl, you don't have Disney. But um. But I guess there's there's commercials on Hulu. So there's that. Yeah, I watch more YouTube than anything else. I've been I've been watching I've been watching a whole lot of cheaters. I like watching them get busted. <laughs> Any of you cheaters out there get busted before? <laughs> yes, the See, Didi. Like I don't he, Yes the Didi. We have different tastes and stuff because on YouTube, like I watch Oh, what do I watch? <laughs> I watch like educational stuff, like different facts and stuff like that. Or I'll watch, yeah, I'll watch like time period stuff, DIY things, Poshmark stuff. So not me. I'm yeah. watching Judge Mathis. Shout out to Judge Mathis. We miss you going to your show, brother. If you're watching this, yeah. <laughs> if you watch this, <laughs> but uh, we definitely miss going to your show. Maybe if they. At least all this nonsense we'll be able to go back and sit and watch in person once again. Yeah, fun fact, I don't know if you guys know, have we ever talked about that on the channel? Well, if you guys didn't know, um, have we? We might have, I don't know. If you didn't know, for those who are new, uh, we've been on Judge Mathis, like in the audience, how many times, like several times? Several times. It's fun, great experience, he's really funny, everything is a great time. So. You get a better, a better understanding as to how the editing works when you're actually there and you have the behind the scenes because we sit there and we might sit there through, oh man, Ooh, like, 10, 
10, 11, 10, 14 yeah, plus cases. cases. These are cases that are back to back. So when they when they actually air these shows, they're not all aired at the same time. That's why you may see us on Judge Mathis in one time, and then some other time you'll see us again. And if you were to watch those shows back to back, you'd see we're dressed the same because they're they're take they're taping so many shows in one sitting. But, you know, it's it's, it's it's fun. It's really fun. Like the last taping of the season we went to, um, like, and you know what? It's, the stuff is so real. Like, it's real. I'm telling you, this one, like, I was almost in tears about this one case because I can definitely relate. It was this girl. She lived with her. You know, I, I'm not gonna get onto the story about what it was, but I can definitely relate to what it, what happened. And so, like, I was tearing up about it. And then, like, somebody else in the audience, like, said something slick, and she looked back like it was me. And I was like, it was not me. I'm over here about to cry. So, it's super real. And, like, different cases, like, about drug cases, like, you know, like, um, there was this, this son that was on drugs and the father. You know, that was touching. Like, I don't know, when you hear different things, it just really, I don't know, it hits home. It's reality. It's it ain't, definitely. It's, it's, it's... It ain't nothing scripted. That is the real deal. Those are cases that the show actually take on. Mm -hmm. And they, they sign a waiver. They sign an agreement. And whatever the judge says, that's what it's going to be. That's, that's, that's the outcome of it. His verdict is just as though they were in their own city, hometown, right. having, having court. So they can't go back and... Uh, appeal the decision and how they get paid too is like whoever wins in the favor of the court pays for that so from being on tv like so say if you owed if i sued you for one thousand dollars we go on there you're gonna get your one thousand dollars but the show pays for it i don't have to pay for it so that's pretty cool um one case we saw like the guy was so disrespectful to the judge the judge kicked him out he was like get him out of there it was like 30 seconds like it started like the guy kept on i don't know like you need to like when you address a judge you, you know your your honor yes sir yes ma'am um you know pay respect but i don't know this guy was like dude and what do you say bro and all that like it was like 30 seconds of addressing judge like that judge was like boom kick him out of here like get his bike out of here he was like man i was like did this just happen like it happens so fast you're just shocked though isn't it and that that's something about like um attorneys and judges like they can pick up something so fast like you know for for the normal person like you know we have to process things we have to take it and then it'll take it like i don't know i can't speak for everybody else but for me like i have to hear something that'll take me a second to process it all and like you know outweigh it and hear it and, but a judge they can just like pick it up so quick and they'll like get it out of like people like what they want he said he was a defense attorney that's what he was before he became a judge Attorney, he said he'll, he'll listen. He'll listen to two parties and know one of them lying, mm -hmm. but he don't really know which one's lying because the story is so different. He'll talk to them long enough without telling themselves. Yeah, that's true. And there's clues too when people are lying too, because before, like um, the bailiff, well, he's an actor. His name is Doyle. Uh, he kind of tells you like you know you look for different body language and you know somebody repeats something like there's different subtle clues to tell when somebody's lying so you pick up on it too when somebody doesn't like, you know it was it's a fun experience like it really is when we went to LA we wanted to see if like what kind of show we can be on the but there was nothing that we really wanted to do when we went to LA but speaking of traveling um, what day was it? Wednesday, I think it was. Wednesday, I booked, um, Dale's birthday trip. And tell them where we're going to go. Mexico. We were going to go to Cancun, Mexico. But. Cozumel. Co no, it was Cancun. Was it Cancun? It was Cancun. I thought that was an island. Huh? I thought Cancun was an island. No, it's in Mexico. Really? Yeah. I thought it was Cozumel. No, we were going to Cancun. Sure. Yes. I know, know I just booked it. Yes. Booked it. <laughs> so we were going to go to Cancun, Mexico.
Mexico, right? So I booked the flights, everything was a go until like there were so many red flags. Like I went to go book a um, rental car and like it was like a $10,000 deposit. Like what? And you had to buy third party liability insurance. It was just too much weird stuff going on. So it was just kind of like what? And then I got thinking about it too. Our phones, we couldn't, we couldn't even use our phone there. We'd have to get like an international plan or something like that. You'd have to pay more money for that. Really? Yeah. And then plus we were going to be gone for 14 days. And also, what else was it? Oh yeah, on the like Mexico, well on the embassy site, they're talking about the crime rate in Mexico. And they're talking about the different things going on. Like say if you got a taxi, like a taxi cab driver could be in on something with somebody else about kidnapping, ransoms, um, robbery and all that. Like it was just too, they were just like, the, uh, the Mexico is not like a advised place to go to. Basically, that's what I got from it. Well, where are you going? And then you also talked to your coworker, didn't you? Yeah, I talked to him. Well, they, they, they went to um, Cozumel. But no, your coworkers, they actually. Oh, lived. actually, they used to live there. Yeah. Yes, yes. And um, recommendation is, is really not a place to go. Because, you know, he, he's, he moved from there 20 plus years ago. And it was bad then. And he said it, it's it's worse now, and he don't go. And he's from there, but he said he he just, he just doesn't go because it's so bad. It, it's just there's no place that you'd want to go. And why go somewhere that people don't even want to go there? Who lived there? Who used to live there? So if they don't want to even go there, there's no place for us. We're we're not the regular tourists. We like to get off the beaten path. Right. That's what I was going to think. That's why, like, renting a car. Like, renting a car when we go somewhere is super, like, that's a must for us because we like to travel and stuff. It's not just, like, going to a resort and just staying there, which is cool for some people. Some people like doing that, but we like to, like, get in the culture. We like to get in the vibe of the atmosphere. And we want to see, we don't want to just see the good part. We don't want to see the tourist attractions. Yeah, yeah. We want to see some of the bad parts as well so we can see how that that culture lives, how that, how that, how that group of people, how they live, because there's some rough places, that's, oh, we, we, we go, we go places now, we, we go some places, and, of course, I'm, you know, some people say, oh, y'all crazy, I wouldn't say it's crazy, I wouldn't say it's not thinking, I would just say that we, we, we serve somebody that can watch over us, that protects us, but he did give us wisdom. And there's some places we don't go. Yeah, it's not like we like go to the hood or like go to like really crazy high crime like shooting areas or something like that. Like we just venture off like where people stay on the one track. We kind of like just just veer off a little. Veer off a little bit, not in like a bad way, but just be explore. And that's where we like really get the the taste of like Puerto Rico. We would have never saw so many beautiful sights had we just stayed in one place. Like, Even meeting people. And meeting people and talking meeting to people, people. like People from here. People from New York. You know, just meeting people that actually moved from here to go down there to the island. So, hey, you know, sometimes you got to, sometimes you got to get off that beaten path, you know, as, and we, and we, as sheep have all gone astray. <laughs> so it's all right to, to to venture off. Just 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 keep your just 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 don't get out there and get lost. Don't get lost off the beaten path because it can't get rough. It's all rough. It's all rough. And then Mexico too about the cartel. Like I think you were kind of hesitant anyway about this yeah, and I about was. that. Like you just hear about different like what is that um where they make you do it for them or something like that. What's it called? Uh, not being a donkey. Is it being a mule or something like that? Mule. Yeah, something. I don't want to be like a mule, you guys. I just didn't want to do that. No, those are those are people that they're, they're getting paid to try to smuggle somebody in here. But okay, what's that called when they like make you do the drugs back and forth and like kill your family and all that? I don't know. Like I think I watched, I watched too many movies. But I mean, still the reality. <laughs> like I don't well, know. It was the just movies too they deprived from something. 
They come from something. It, it was just too many weird factors, and I just didn't feel comfortable at the end of the day. I so didn't literally, I just got the refund back from the um, air flight, air flight, airline, and we're going to Puerto Rico. We're I just going said back to my we're going back to our home, our home place where we love because we know what to expect out of there. You know, it's we know everything what to expect, like everything. We know where to go. We know what to expect. There's no surprises. I'm just getting more familiar with driving there. Yeah, it's like we, every time we go, we get more comfortable there. So, I, who did I tell? I told Eric, I was like, yeah, we're going for X amount of days. We're actually going, the, this will be the longest time we went for. Yes. And I, I was like, yeah, we might be buying a house down there. Who knows? I don't know. So we're going to go get our house. I would love to be down there. Right I would now. move there like in a heartbeat. That's one place. That's the only place I've I went that I would honestly be there like tomorrow. And Bill was like, let's just, just move there. I'm like, let's go. So there's that. I like you couldn't learn the, the language. Right. I learned that language. Ain't no problem there. Sophie's currently taking Spanish in high school. I know poquito espanol. It's weird because like you know, I took Spanish in school. Like, I can understand stuff. I can hear it. And I can translate it in my mind to know what they're understanding. You know? You think I did pretty good in, in Puerto Rico? No, you did terrible. Don't be sitting there saying all that. <laughs> Don't even go there. You did terrible. He hated me. I did better than that. He hating over here. Showing him money. Hey, money talk. <laughs> what are you even talking about? Hey, that chicken, pollo. <laughs> if I know how to talk to eat, I know how to order some food. That's all you That's need all to all do. That's all I need to know. That's all that you need I to know, need to know how to get, I, I know how to, I know how to get some food. <laughs> now, <laughs> it would be nice to know the language just in case. I can move down there. I can talk with fellow workers because you gotta work you gotta have a job right i was just thinking about it like today i was like that one beach that we went to that huge one that is so gorgeous I, the, I was like yeah we're going there I, and we haven't booked like our airbnb i'm like we should like book it down there i gotta find out what that closer to that yes part of the but then actually in san juan that area carolina it's like right there it's like central locale like you can go the places too. Well, in that case, we'd probably fly in on that other airport. Yeah. That's on the other side of the island. So we're already flying in the same one, so we just we'll just drive there. We'll do like a couple day trips there. It is so gorgeous. I forget the name of it. And this time too, we're gonna go to um, Vacays. You know the island. We gotta uh, go on the little ferry. If it's if all we running. Can. If we no, can, we're just praying that everything. Covid jump went up to more than it was. Yeah, we're just praying that everything is going good come our time to go to the trip that there's no restrictions and that we it can be so they went back to but they went back to curfew? no but now it because it, it keeps on changing every week so now it's like no curfew oh. it's like different things i don't know it's changing weekly so and if i think about no curfews that's just that's just people can't get into different businesses businesses are closing their doors like restaurants they gotta be they had to be out at what 10 o'clock Shut it I shut down so. at 10. Yeah. Curfew was at, at 12. So that gave him two hours to get home. Where were we going out? No midnight, no way. Because I don't like driving. I don't like driving there in the dark because the roads are so bad. You running in one of them potholes, you're liable to see Japan. <laughs> them potholes there, boy. You run down in one of them, your whole car disappear. <laughs> so so I didn't I didn't do too much driving at nighttime because you can't see those potholes and I don't want to be on the side of the road fixing up a tire because I ran down the pothole. So I think this year, like, we had a different view of Puerto Rico because we went to that, um, what was that thing that we went to, the bioluminescent? That was fun. That was fun. That was so, all right. It was something different. It was like something a different. once in a lifetime type of thing. Well, yeah. not, you know, when I do it again. Get it. It was expensive, Would though. I do it again? It was expensive. No, I wouldn't do it again. It was fun, though. Yeah, that cop's in there. All right, it's already been 25 minutes. See what happens? Like, it's been so long, we have so much to say. Um, this makes us... I'm saying, he said nothing. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're learning about us. Yeah. Chit chat. So, we're gonna shut it down here. Are we gonna do a vlog on your channel? Uh, See, he don't be yeah, posting yeah. this stuff on there. Well, I'm posting on my channel. I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's dealing with. It's pretty. It's pretty much car related to an extent. On, on, I didn't want it to be a car related channel. Exactly. You should be but, vlogging. We could be talking. But it is. It is to the majority. So since it is, that's what it is. So that's about it. It's 26 <laughs> minutes. I'm sure you guys heard our voices long enough. Or, I don't know. It feels like your family. You guys are the poppy fam. So. <laughs> So we'll talk to you guys later. Until next time, we'll do a haul video to see what we got on the bins. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace out.